Dr. Ann, it's amazing. I know that one of the things that became so important for our work is just that, that when we talk about hope, that is not abstract mm -hmm. and it's not one dimensional, mm -hmm. that is multi dimensional. And um, you really did such a great job of expounding upon what those dimensions are. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to hear more about how you mm -hmm. uh, think about hope as multi dimensional. Mm -hmm. Well, there, there's just several dimensions of it and uh, that I grew up with and I think youth are looking for uh, and hoping for today. For example, you know, hope is, we hope for something spiritual, right. hope for something beyond ourselves, hope for answers to the questions in life. You know, youth come and they ask the question, is there really a God? Mm -hmm. You know, why is this happening to me? Who am I? Where am I going in life? And ultimately for Christians, the answers are beyond ourselves. The answers come from a relationship with God through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. You see, so there's, there, their hope lies in something beyond ourselves, in a yeah. relationship, you know, that vertical relationship uh, with God and the Spirit. So that's one dimension. Another dimension is hope for relationships. Young people need positive, affirming relationships that let them know, you know, that they are a part of a community, not out there by themselves. So hope for relationships is another dimension and a welcome and affirming village in which they are a part. A third dimension, you know, has to do with economics. Hope for economic a uh, subsistence, a way to exist in the world with the, the adequate supplies for life, which so many of our youth do not have today. So that's another dimension. Still another one is psychological well-being. Our young people need to know, as we did growing up, I am somebody. I count. I am a valued creation of God. I have gifts and I have skills, and, and I, I have something that I can give to the world to, to, to contribute. So that's another dimension. Still another one, you know, has to do with creativity. Mm -hmm. uh, our young people are creative beings. Uh, they have leisure, yes, but do they know that they, and I think some of them do, because otherwise you wouldn't see the, the wonderful art right. that they do, uh, and, and even graffiti. It's art. Right. That's their way of expressing themselves. Right. So affirming their creative selves, wherever that is in, in expression, in poetry, in mime, in stepping, liturgical dance, in drawing, all of the drama, all of these are, are the creative self that has to find expression and to find places where that, that can happen. Uh, so uh, all of these dimensions, and I'm sure there are more uh, if I stop to think about and give them all, but what they suggest is that ministry with young people has to be holistic. That's right. It's not just one thing, right. you see. So when we think about uh, those dimensions of hope and hoping for all of those to happen in young people's lives, and you know, we can see, you know, that uh, ministry has to deal with um, uh, coming in and fostering and making possible, you know, young people's getting the the, the things of life that are needed right. to sustain life and providing uh, those kind of community resources and advocating for community resources uh, for education and, uh, and so forth uh, that they need. Oh, that makes, re reminds me then still of another dimension, which is physical, hope right. for physical well-being, because oftentimes uh, they do not have the access uh, to the physical care right. uh, that is needed for themselves. Uh, so uh, we, we need the spirituality, but we need the care of the mental self, the psychological self, the physical self, the relational self, the creative self, the economic self. That's right. All of that is a part uh, of ministry that needs to be cared for. And I think what I love about uh, kind of emphasizing the multidimensional um, aspect of hope in, in the ways it pushes us toward holistic ministry is this is a holistic ministry that's not just for youth but with youth 
and just the ways in which we teach youth to advocate for themselves, mm. to, you know, teach them about their holistic selves and how all of them is valuable, not just their brains, which in the Western society, sometimes that can be the message, only your brains is value, you know, as opposed to who you are. But holistic ministry forces us to say, no, all of you, we value mm-hmm. all of you, and that will advocate not just um, on a very personal level, but like you said, on a sy- systemic level, we'll, we'll advocate within the community, we'll will think about your family context. Like mm-hmm. all of these become such critical contexts in which youth are shaped and formed and that our ministries have to also take that into account. Mm-hmm. Yes, well, well, it really provides an invitation for what we call in the book, Agents of Courageous right. Hope. Because youth ministers then and youth leaders and pastors, you know, have to be agents in that respect That's and right. see those different dimensions and really seek to address uh, all of those dimensions. Uh, but, you know, when we talk about agents of hope, it also means that they've got to deal with themselves. That's too. right. You know, they've got to deal with their own level of hope. They've got to deal with their own stories. They've got to deal with, you know, whether or not they're prepared to do that. Right. And if they're not prepared, you know, find the spaces and find, you know, the kinds of tooling uh, in which they can prepare to carry on those ministries. And, and that's not easy, no. you know, because we know that in most churches, these are volunteers. That's right. You see. And so, you know, that means that our seminaries, Right. also need to pr- help to provide the resources and the tooling That's and right. the affirmation and the preparation, you know, for young people, not just those in seminary, but those in congregations That's to right. carry out this work so that they can be the kinds of adequate agents of courageous hope that our young people today need so badly and so strongly. 